Hi, I'm Nerida Conway and I'm here in Emery de Bortoli's garden, which is just absolutely magnificent. And I'm here with Victor de Bortoli. How are you? Yeah, good, thanks, Nerida. Lovely to meet you. Um, so tell me, you're obviously uh, Emery's son, one of the four children. So tell me what your role is here at the winery. Look, mostly I'm involved in the international business side of uh, what the company does overseas, uh, okay. but I do get involved in some other things where where, I've, um, where I see the opportunity to do so. Okay. Yeah. So we're here to talk a little bit about the Dean Range. Now, Dean was obviously your father. Sure, yeah. And so the range is obviously a homage to him. And I have to say that I can't believe how well-priced these wines are. They taste like they should be three times the price. Don't go putting the prices up now that I've said that, however, because I actually enjoy paying low prices and having good wines. What we're trying to achieve with this, and there's a real, I suppose, thing happening in the Australian wine industry now with regionality and, and trying to achieve uh, a ter terroir sort of characters in your wines. But within this range, we're sort of, part of the focus is, is to try and hit that value for that uh, varietal. Mm -hmm. So we take a little bit of liberty in taking the now um, the best parcels from different regions and putting them together where in that season they might have done particularly better, say perhaps than in another another region. Which one's your personal favourite? If you're in the uh, if you're in the middle of winter and you've cooked a, a cracking uh, lamb roast or something like yep. that, maybe the Shiraz or Petit Verde will be fantastic. We're coming into spring and summer now, and look, you start looking towards the towards the whites, perhaps you know, and, and some yep. what they might be able to do for you. I think with the the style of the reds, it's about getting um, that, that sort of not traditional Australian style, but, but it is the style that some of the international markets do expect from Australia. And that's, uh, that helps us get it out into those markets. We're in over 25 countries at the moment. That's amazing. With, with this particular range, um, not, not in all the countries that we export to, but in, in a lot of them. And I think the new packaging is stunning. Oh, thank you. It's really, really lovely and classy and just looks great. So I think you've, you guys have done an amazing job with that. Thank you very much. Yeah, and yeah. 20 years, you said? Over 20 years, yeah. Uh, wow. It's sort of, the, the range has evolved over time and, and morphing to a, a, a specific Dean, you know, not of my father in the sort of mid nineties. Yeah. And through till now, yeah. Yeah. Well, he would be very, very proud, I think, of this range if he was here to see it today, don't you think? Yeah, I would think so. He'd probably be a little bit cheeky in some of his responses, but uh, yeah, he would be very proud. <laughs> Do you think he'd be embarrassed that he's on all the labels? Oh, yeah, he would be. Because he sounds like he was quite a humble sort of he a man. He would be, although he'd probably enjoy the labels where he's got the dogs with him. Yes, <laughs> and the one leaning on the gate. The one leaning on the gate. <laughs> <Just> chatting. <laughs> or, his, or his ute, he loved his ute, so yeah. yeah. Oh, well, so lovely to meet you. Thanks, Victor. Thank you.